Hey folks, Nathan here from Star Wars Beyond the Films and Cloud City Casino, a Star Wars gaming podcast, both of which are on StarWarsReport.com. Bring you a look at the X-Wing 2nd Edition releases as they are released. This is the second ship we're looking at here of Wave 5 for 2nd Edition. This is the Punishing One, also known as the Jumpmaster 5000, both of which sound to me like really, really bad late 90s rap names. This is a ship we've seen before, so it is a reissue here for 2nd Edition. So we have our ship, Maneuver Dial, Four ship cards here. We have Dengar, Tel, Trevura, Manaru, and Contracted Scout, along with a couple of quick build cards to go with them. We have one condition card and its corresponding token here. That's listing device that'll go with our informant upgrade card. We, of course, have our ship tokens here. Speaking of upgrade cards, we have Lone Wolf, Advanced Proton Torpedoes, Ion Torpedoes, Triple Zero, which is awesome, but no BT-1, which is sad. Dengar, of course, the person we know of as tied into Punishing One. Perceptive Co-Pilot, Informant, again, to go with Listening Device. Lats Razi, R5P8, R2 Astromech, Contraband Cybernetics, and Punishing One. We have our little content sheet, as always, and then quite a few tokens, including nine standard charges, one proof of purchase, one dial ID token, our three ID tokens here, of course, for number 11, we have two lock tokens, also for number 11. We then have one focus, one calculate, one disarm, three ion, two stress, one critical damage, and three shield tokens, along with our large slash medium-sized ship's uh, turret arc indicator here. So, if you've been waiting to bring the Punishing One into your scum and villainy game for X-Wing 2nd Edition, it's available now as the new 2nd Edition version of the contents for a $30 price tag.